There are many luxury resorts in Tokyo, but one of them stands out in a unique way as it's actually from Japan. That's the Okura Tokyo. It first opened in 1962 and was built to become a modern, high end Western resort, but one that remained Japanese at its core, especially in its decorations and hospitality. My wife and I decided to do a staycation here at their prestige tower for our anniversary and see what it was like to stay at a Japanese Western resort. The Okura Tokyo is in the middle of the city, but it feels like an oasis that transports you away while you're there. We managed to snag a deal where we could check in in the morning and check out in the evening the next day. So, before anything, we went to their orchid restaurant for a late breakfast buffet. I love Western breakfast and Japanese breakfast, so when they have both, you gotta get everything. The Okura Tokyo's lobby is well known internationally and was one of the focuses of discussion when the main building was scheduled to be demolished. Designer Tomas Meyer, who headed brands like Bottega Veneta, began a movement to try and stop it. It didn't work, but fortunately, the lobby was replicated in the current building. The interior design is meticulous and almost museum like, meshing Western and Japanese aesthetics quite seamlessly. There are no cafes or shops in the lobby like what you would see at other hotels because of the thought that it should be a calm communal space rather than a commercial one. And of course, a room that was nice enough to spend the whole day in. But of course, we didn't do that. After kicking back for a bit, we took a stroll around the area, checking out some of the spring flowers and historical artifacts in the neighboring garden. One of the most popular dinner dishes at their orchid restaurant is their roast beef. Two perfectly cooked slices, tender and delicious. To cap off the evening, we went for drinks at the orchid bar, a classic bar tucked away near the restaurant. Quiet, super cool vibe to this place. They had an exclusive 21 year blend of Glen Farkless, which I had to try. And, yep, great way to end the day. Room service for breakfast the next morning. We got a basket of pastries, poached eggs, and their most popular dish, their French toast. On the hotel grounds, there's the Okura Museum of Art, which was founded in 1917 and was Japan's first private museum. It was founded by Kihachiro Okura, the father of the hotel's founder, for his collection of pre modern Japanese and East Asian art. Right across the street is Nobu, where we went for lunch. Of course, Japanese people don't really consider this to be sushi, but it's still good. After going for a swim, we ended our stay with drinks at Starlight, their bar and lounge on the top floor. Original drinks, window seats, and a view of the sun setting over the city. A great stay at the Okura Tokyo.